Last time we took you along through a very, very busy Cape Cod Canal and removed unwanted lines from our props. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietro. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. It was Nantucket, but <laughs> oh man, it was a lovely town, but not such a lovely anchorage. And coming in and out of the anchorage is also just crazy. And the, the, the currents are <laughs> all over and the wind is pushing in different directions. So as we left Nantucket, we saw this race, there's a regatta going on. So we need to stay clear, I think. I see there's a red, yellow and green buoys. I think that's the race markers. We're now off to Marta's Vineyard. So Marta's Vineyard is literally just there. But between here and there, it's a lot of shallow. So we need to go first up north. Then we can start going west and then we need to turn south again, otherwise we will just run aground somewhere here. We are going places. <laughs> and then there is this huge ferry on its way here. I can only imagine what wakes we're going to get from that big beast. So we, we're doing not too bad. We had 40 to 45, 42 apparent wind angle. And we do more or less 50% of true wind speed. But these guys, they just nail it. But we saw this one is double our size and the one that just went past us, almost three times our size. <laughs> size does matter here. <laughs> What speeds were they doing? Oh, yeah, the one that came from the front was doing like 10 knots. This guy is doing 9 knots. He's going to just like zzzz past us. We, <laughs> we, will, we will actually have a wake from him. It's like, my goodness. We have a little bit of current against us, but man, we are actually doing quite okay. What an awesome sail. Here you can see the, the speed through the water. So you can see there's a little bit of a current. So Pietro is preparing some, some potato salad or something like that. There's some ribs that we're going to... But look at the sail. Such a nice relaxed sail. This is how sailing should be. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on. That smile when my heart starts racing when I'm with you. You when I'm with you. We anchored here in Martha's Vineyard. So this is like the bay. Here is a bay of Martha's Vineyard. It's Saturday. So it seems like all the boats are out. And this anchorage just got busy. And the entrance is somewhere there, so we are going there past that Udrimmer that we saw also in Nantucket. But for now, we had some barbecue. And Peter is still busy. Look at that awesome potato salad. And we had nice ribs. Messy ribs. Messy reps. <laughs> Some very, very, very big lodgings over here. Whether they're private homes or guest houses. Okay, this is a car ferry from this side to that side. 
<laughs> Why did they just build the bridge? Oh, on time three. On time, yeah. In Edgata. How cool is this? Oh, and people, so it's cars and people. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice place up there. Well, we need to find the dinghy dock again. And there's places up here. There's more dinghy docks further down. Because this is pretty cool. So we'll try up front here. So we are now here in Edgar Town. It looks very, very pretty. Like this ice cream. And this ice cream. So many ice cream places. And it's freaking winter. It's <laughs> summer. Yeah, true. It's this summer time, not this your not, winter time. This is not ice cream weather. <laughs> this is. Look at all of these people. They don't have jackets on. You even don't have jackets on. So it must be ice cream. That, that close to all the jackets. So we've heard the seafood shanty over there is the place to be. So let's see. So it's not jaws, it's claws. <laughs> oh, we need to bring our stickers. Sticker opportunity. And we are back. We need to climb over a couple of dinghies here because it's like the is layered. Oh, well, it did change since we've been here last. But yeah, so we need to get there. So maybe climb in here, climb in there, climb in there. Hmm. The next day, our dear friend John took us on a tour of the whole island, and the highlight was for sure the fairy tale like gingerbread houses of oak bluffs. They are painted with colorful design reminiscent of the house made of gingerbread and candy in Hansel and Gretel. In the 1800s, this corner of the island was frequented by a group of Methodists that held annual religious meetings on Martha's Vineyard. At the time, they slept in tents during these summer gatherings, but as the camps grew bigger and bigger and they were more frequented, the group built permanent cottages to accommodate them year-round. See the Elizabeth Islands, and they're owned by, uh, privately owned by the Forbes family. So Byron, here's your family heritage, Forbes. All uninhabited for the most part. <laughs> oh my goodness, and uninhabited as well. So you can come and pitch a tent. So this is kind of like a secret. They don't advertise it, but this is the golf club. <laughs> this is an all organic golf course. This is the only all organic, truly all organic golf course, I think, in the country. So sure. there's no herbicides, pesticides, anything else. And look how beautiful and green it is. So Don't that was the only way the vineyard would let them actually have it, if it was all organic. What is, is that a fan? It's a huge fan. Oh yes, yeah, so it's a fan to cool the, the green, because if it gets too hot, it can get damaged. Burns. So, that, yeah, so I know it's a little ridiculous. But so we can go on this side over here. So, this is also the golf club where Obama is hanging out. <laughs> so 
this is the road to Mama's house. So over there is some lightning and I just checked it is cloud to ground so if we want to try and run away from that and it is it is raining so I'm going to dash out quickly so those are the sails that we have up we I just had another report another SMS it is 10 miles from us so we need to get away from this storm but yeah we can go as fast as the Genoa and the reason why I got a Genoa up we need to in front somewhere there we need to turn and I don't want to mess around with the code D if we have a big storm coming and if this thing is going to eat us you can see the water all around us is already little white caps which means it's definitely 15 knots of wind so we the code D is out of that question and the wind is coming from that direction so I can also well I can maybe put the main up but it's not going to be working as effectively dead downwind and the, the Genoa is up and we can have the main up at this angle but the moment we're going to turn and it's just like not very far we're going to turn this way so then I think we will we will be able to use the main much better um, so but it will be difficult to get the main now up we need to turn all the way around back to the storm so let us first get around this point and then we will think about the main sail but between 5.5.8 knots we have 17 knots of wind uh, well 18 knots of wind our real speed, boat speed is 4 points, so we're not doing great with this wind. But it's good enough for us because we have a good current here, 1.4, 1.5. You can see the current indicators there. So we're getting better, 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 or oh, bigger stream current. And as we go down there, it will also be helping us. So we're good. And we will arrive just uh, before three o'clock in Chakyang Chakyang or what? Katyang Katyang so this is the Elizabeth Islands and well, we're going to go to Katyang Island here right at the end so here at the end is going to be a little bit of a tricky negotiation not sure I want to go through here or I want to maybe use Oops, oops, oops. Maybe use this channel. So I think I'm going to use this channel rather. It's much bigger. Less rocks. And just like that, the wind is gone. <laughs> okay, so much for sailing. Engines, one engine is on. Lucky for us, it's a huge current going this way. One can actually pick up the, the current on the radar, the little waves it makes very close to shore. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, this sound, I think I'm going to miss this if we leave the US because it's so US. <laughs> We just anchored here outside Kati Hank. So the entrance is somewhere there. Where that bell is ringing. <laughs> just go past the bell, but you can go straight. And then there's a little harbor inside there, but it's full of mooring balls. And we decide it's going to be no wind for tonight and even tomorrow. So we can just as well stay right here. A bit of grass here in the water, but I think we can run the water maker here. It actually looks quite clean. We normally go like that, and if we can see the other rudder 
and the propeller then we fine. <laughs> The last time we came here to Block Island, it was in the middle of the night and we anchored just off that boat. But there was plenty room here. But now it is full, 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 full. There is just so many boats here. It reminds me of Falmouth and Antigua. Boats, 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 subiat, 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 boats, 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 boats. We are busy with a barbecue. So, some chicken on and Pietro is busy with Brai Broekies. Say that very fast. Brai Broekies. So she's making some Brai Broekies. With chutney on. Yeah, <laughs> it's because I want chutney. Only yours has got the chutney on. I don't want chutney. And it is, it is the correct one. Otherwise I will no, not no, ask no, for no, it. No, 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 no. It's Mrs. Mrs. Balls. Only from South Africa. Yeah. If it doesn't have that chutney, it doesn't work. So it has to have Mrs. Balls and then some cheese and, tom and tom tomato, tomato and onion. Yep, and then some spices and that's it. Uh, today we are we cleaned Sisu. We had a little bit of a problem with getting fresh water because everywhere we go the water was just very dirty. And it's not human waste. Just before you guys are thinking it's human waste, it's all about the birds, the guano basically, right? Yeah. It's the lobsters and, and lobster, lobster pots. Yeah, lobster. there's a lot of lobster pots and I th we think... They have a lot of dead fish heads in those pots. That's the bait. They put a lot of um, fish... Yeah, oh, fish heads. Oh, disgusting. So we have a suspicion it's because of the sea life, a lot of sea life, but the sea life makes the water dirty so we couldn't make water and then we had a good chance we made water and we could wash sisu so sisu looks now brilliantly white well if you look at this side it's i think too white for the camera but it is very white <laughs> so Pietro is rearranging our pantry <laughs> So we have still so much food, even from Cape Town. And it's still good to go. And it's still good to go. And that's a wrap for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. And, okay, bear with me, I have to say this. Please remember to like and subscribe. We need all the support we can get. It really goes a long way. Ciao.